Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Shihan Chowdhury, AKA Chili Pepper Cooks, and today we are making a noodle soup. However, this is not your average noodle soup. This noodle soup is under 500 calories, and on top of that, it takes less than 15 minutes to make. Plus, it's packed with so much flavor. So let's get started. First, we're gonna get our pan, and into that pan, we're going to put in about a tablespoon of white miso paste. Here, I'm using white miso. White miso is a little bit lighter and, and, and is not as strong as like the red or the darker miso. If you wanna use a darker miso, you can. However, for this balance, I like to use the white miso. Now, we are going to also add in about a tablespoon of gochujang. Here's the thing, different miso and different gochujang will have different intensity of taste. Of course, you can always increase the intensity of these flavors by just adding in more of that white miso paste or the gochujang. Next, you can add in brown sugar, uh, one to two teaspoons of brown sugar. However, we are going to add in the Thai chili pepper honey, the best hot honey on the market. Now we're gonna add in about two and a half cups of chicken stock. I'm using chicken stock, however, you can use vegetable stock or beef stock or even seafood stock. Now we're going to bring this to boil. Now as it comes to boil, we're gonna be constantly stirring so that white miso and the gochujang kind of spread into that uh, uh, stock properly. Once it comes to boil, then we are going to add in our glass noodles. These glass noodles, the whole packet is only 350 calories. These glass noodles are made with sweet potato. Now once we get the sweet potato glass noodles in there, we're just gonna be kind of shoving it kind of in there. Next, we're gonna get some type of a vegetable. Here, I'm using bok choy. You are free to use whatever type of vegetable you want. I kind of like the bok choy, it kind of gives me the, the greens that I need. And then we're just gonna let this boil for about three to four minutes and then we're going to get one egg and we're gonna scramble it and we're gonna put in our scrambled egg in there. And now we're gonna let this cook for about another three minutes and then we're gonna turn off the heat, we're gonna transfer it into a bowl. Now at this point, I do like to taste and adjust for salt. Uh, like I said, miso is salty by nature, but if you didn't put enough in there, you might need a little bit more salt. And also I like to add in some type of a protein, so I'm putting in some baked chicken thigh in there. And then we're just gonna garnish it with some green onions. And there you go, that big bowl of soup is ready for you to devour. Okay, now for the taste test. Let's get some of those noodles. Wow, that broth is just so flavorful. This is so good, I'm telling you. It seems like it's been cooking for hours and hours, that broth, but we just made it in less than 15 minutes. This is so good. I can't wait for you to try this. Until next time, I'll see you later.